Now it's finally time to solve this week's chess puzzle. Last week you had a chance to rest your brain so that you could give 100% today. The puzzle is taken from the game between the legendary Bobby Fischer and the Romanian player Bela Sass that was played in Skopje in 1967. Fischer played white and won the game with a great checkmate that you are to find now. So, there is a checkmate in three moves and white wins, so good luck! Well, this is surely an exciting position. And what we have to remember is that we cannot perform a queen exchange on f8 because that only gives the black king a chance to run away to f8 and escape a checkmate. What we're going to do is to try to exploit the queen, bishop, rook, and the pawn too. If we hadn't had the pawn on h5, this would have been a really easy checkmate on h7. But now we have the pawn, and the question is how we are to proceed then. Do we want to capture the pawn on g6 now with our pawn in order to open the rook file? No, not at all. If we would, the black queen would probably capture our queen and even though we could take back, we would lose our checkmate chances. What we have to take into consideration is that black threatens to turn his c pawn to a queen by moving it to c1 with a check. As the pieces are positioned right now, we can obviously capture the pawn, but this is still a serious threat which we need to remember. In order to succeed in finding the checkmate, we must find a move that checks at once, because otherwise black would get the time to, he needs to escape with the king and maneuver the pieces so that he becomes impossible to checkmate in 3. What we are going to play is of course queen captures on h7 check. And we do this for the reason that we have our pawn on h5 and our rook on h4. What else can black do than to take the queen? Now we use the cover check by playing pawn takes on g6 check. This is obviously a double check that forces black to take the pawn. So we have now performed two of our three moves. So the next move has to have a checkmate. Black really doesn't have any chance here at all. Our bishop of f6 is guarded by the pawn and our rook is guarded too. The king can't go anywhere except to f5, so we must prevent him from doing so. And the best way is of course by playing bishop to e5, checkmate. Well, there we go. Here we saw that such bold moves as queen sacrifices can really pay off sometimes. Keep in mind that this game was played in 1967, that is 44 years ago by none other than Bobby Fischer. Fischer is a great source of inspiration for chess players that want to take their tactical thinking to a higher level, so be sure to watch some of his games if you have some free time this week. I really want to thank you all for following these chess puzzles and I truly hope that you've noticed an improvement in your chess games lately. Bye!